chippy. On a game one, you shouldn't be that chippy. Playoffs. I agree, but what that's you mean? game one of the playoffs. Which you yeah. yeah well, okay, okay. I'm I'm gonna counter that with this. De'Aaron Fox said that, said it himself. He said, "Yo, all I need to see was a half of what the physicality. What are the refs gonna allow me to play through?" And once I figured it out, what happened? They couldn't do nothing with them. All they did right. was, all they did was figure out the physicality. But Draymond, you can't, you, I can't lie. Draymond's calling card is to be an agitator. He is a big Patrick Beverly. He that is his job. That's that's is, common knowledge. <laughs> nobody, nobody, nobody can dispute that. That's so, 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 th all this is is basketball karma coming back to Draymond Green. The basketball gods came back for you because you got away with it because you were winning. You were winning and you were getting a lot of with all these, a lot of illegal screens, a lot of grabbing, a lot of holding, a lot of hitting guys in their generals that they're not supposed to be hitting them in, a lot of like unnecessary things. And on top of that too, not everybody enjoys that type of trash talk that Draymond mm -hmm. does. Like this trash, this basketball talk, and you could tell that Draymond turns it up a level. He, you you I, could tell he from, I, he's so from I, Breezy, Breezy, you there? Yeah, yeah, I'm right here. I'm just enjoying. I'm just enjoying all of this actually. Um, shout to Chill. Um, well, and when I when I say I'm enjoying this, I'm I'm really like listening. You know, yeah. I, I, when I chill with you, I feel like I be learning. You know what I'm saying that's why I be pulling up. I heard him say something about Kareem Abdul Jabbar in the book I was reading. They was talking about, and I'm bringing it all back to right now. The book I was reading, they was talking about how the Nets could have got him in the ABA because the NBA and the ABA used to draft the same time. He just didn't give him the check or whatever or whatnot. But case mm -hmm. in point, moving forward, um, Lou, uh. Kareem Abdul Jabbar w was dominant, and I, I respect that. And I was that's the part I was enjoying. But what I want to pull up and ask Chill to fast forward it to today is I check in, I seen the odds of the Brooklyn Nets, and they're not nice. But what I will say is you were real with me, and I gotta respect that. But I, I also want to say that the numbers is crazy. The numbers was four hundred and seventy two, right? Out of four hundred and seventy two playoff series, there's only been thirty two teams. To come back down zero two, mm -hmm. and I want to chill to speak <laughs> on uh, what does it take for a team character wise, you know, to give you an example. Uh, I think I seen the 19th, uh, no, no, it was the Bucks did it versus the Nets mm -hmm. just the other season, um, you know, and just I wanted you to speak to oh, what it goodness. takes for a team. And also, what does home court advantage mean? Uh, you see, with the, like the beam, and I was mm -hmm. saying that with, with with the Sacramento Kings, they up too because the the fans is the six man on the floor while Golden yo, State there. If Golden yo, State was the third, huh? That, that's a that's a hell of a question, bro. That is a hell of a question. How you how you got how you came to that? Like you trying to take my job, fam? <laughs> no, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> I was about to say he didn't he didn't he didn't do stat man. <laughs> That was a mean question. Wasn't he, wasn't he the one that came? You came in here last week and you went, you you dove deep into like the history of the Brooklyn Nets. Yeah, yeah, like, bro, bro, yeah, bro. Like, yeah, hey, but, that guy for sure. But 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 you 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 want to you want to yeah, uh, jump in that question? That's a great question. Oh, so real quick, just so you know, the Bulls did it in '93. They was down 0-2 to the Knicks, and they came. Oh, 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 I ain't, oh, I ain't oh thanks for that. Thanks for yeah. that. The Bulls did it in 0 2. They came back. Same thing with what you call it. Milwaukee did it in the NBA championship. They was down 0 2 to Phoenix and they came back and won it. So wow. what, what it does is when you're dealing with when you're dealing with teams in the playoffs, right? Adjustments have to be made. That's why that's why coaching is very important, right? So the way you play on your home floor is going to be different than the way they play on their home floor. The game's going to be different. It's going to be faster. It's going to be slower. That's number one. Number two, your role players, they play different on the road than they do at home, right? They are a little bit more energized. It goes a lot of people, even though I've, I've never really been a big fan of, of the home court advantage thing, because I always felt like, I mean, Muhammad Ali told me this. If I'm better than you, I'll whoop your ass anyway. Anyway. Don't make a difference with you. Don't make a difference where we at. But when it comes to role, but when it comes to role players, I can't discount how difficult it is when I, I got to sleep in a hotel tonight as opposed to sleeping in my bed. I got to get on a plane. I can't discount any of that stuff. I have a routine. But when you're thinking about a team that now we have to adjust to being down 0-2, you can't get ahead of yourself. We can't think, all right, we got to win the next four games because if I'm thinking that, well, then, damn, I'm not going to win the series. If we can just stay in the moment, and mm -hmm. staying in the moment means, all right, one game at a time. Well, this team has beaten us before. What did they do to beat us? Well, they out-rebounded us. We got to fix that. They out-toughed us. We got to fix that. We don't have to fix that throughout the course of the series. We just got to fix that right now, right? We got to fix that just right now. 
also the Cavs came back being down uh, 0-2 to mm -hmm. uh, what you call it too. They came back from being down 0-2. But anyway, I'm, I'm, to stay on the point, we have to fix that right now. And when we fix that right now, now momentum builds. And not only does momentum build, it puts a lot of pressure on the other team that was up. So, for example, Big Ox and I had this conversation with Sacramento. All Sacramento did was hold serve. Now the Heat goes all the way. The Heat goes to the Golden State Warriors. Right. Now the Heat goes to the Golden State Warriors, and they go home, and they win both of these games. Just so you know, it's a lot different winning game one or game two on your home floor mm -hmm. than it is now winning game five. And the loser is facing an elimination game, Agreed. particularly you when you're on the road. Well, wait a minute now. Guys have a tendency to tense up a little bit. Guys have a tendency to not play because the stakes are now higher. Now, when you got guys on your crew that are vets, when you got guys on your crew that are battle tested, then they're ready for this sort of stage. They're prepared for this. But your coach is the most important in this because, number one, he keeps his troops he keeps his troops calm, and he puts them in the best possible position that they could be in in order to win. I think that's really important in order to come back from that sort of lead. And you need some stuff to go your way, too. You can't just think that, yo, we're going to just do this. No, we need some things to go our way. Being good ain't good enough. Respect, respect. I want to. I, I can tap tap it real quick. Um, I, yeah, I, I agree with I agree with you 110 percent, um, uh, chill, and that's why um, to 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 the thing that Bobby was talking about, regardless uh, in in terms of Steve Kerr, right? Um, he did make some adjustments. Um, however, some of his rotation was kind of shabby. It was like, ah, what are you doing? Um, I think he should have. I think he should have kept Gary Payton in a little bit more. Um, I think um, that energy to counteract with Fox and Monk is necessary. Um, although, although he doesn't shoot as well, but he does slash and he does offensive rebound. So you, you still get some activity from that. Um, I think Mike Brown putting Kevin Herter, yes, uh, if you noticed in the last game, um, since Kevin Herter has been up and down with the shooting, he put him in these in the more DHOs, and he's still going to him. Like, he's still keeping the confidence within him. And same thing with Malik Monk. Now, Cho said something that was really, really amazing. Um, he's a he's a ticking time bomb. It's it's very it's kind of like same thing like Bones Holland. When it's clicking, it's clicking. But you you might find some moments where um um uh he'll he'll make a dumb play or he'll do something where it's like I, I don't like that shot. But Monk's aggression is what is kind of is is the the driving force in my opinion. I think Monk, if he wasn't this aggressive, um I think um. It would it would have helped out the, both teams. On top of that, too, I think he's outplaying Clay and um, Poole combined. Like I think he's outplaying both. Yeah, can I can I add to to what he said just now? Um, I'm, I'm bringing it to you, Chill. And I, I wanted to say something to Ox too. You funny for that. But what I wanted to say because all year I was saying that I wanted to ask the, really the player's choice. Um, the panel, I wanted to get all y'all just to speak on what you think the obligation to winning the coach represents. And what Mike Brown doing, what he did with the Kings, I would love to see y'all answer that question. Well, but you know, and two things. I'm, I'm, two I'm glad you brought that up, Rizzi, because I was going to touch on that, but keep talking. All right, and, then, and the next, this is my last question. The next question is to what he said, um, dude on the tie, I don't know his name. Um, what do you feel that, uh, do you feel that um, ball teams go out and try to get players that played alongside each other in college to play with each other in the NBA, kind of like De'Aaron Fox and Malik Monk, kind of like Josh Hart and Jalen Brunson? Um, I do. And that's, I do. That's, my, that's my last question. Well, 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 two things. Number one, it's one thing to be a coach on the other bench and you have some familiarity with that other team and just be a coach. But when you have the personnel to deal with them, it's completely different. Yes. So when you're thinking about a guy like Mike Brown, who in the past he's had he's gotten some flack because of his ability to uh, his, his inability to adjust. Right. Well, he's actually got the personnel to adjust to the Golden State Warriors. Add that to the fact that I know what they're doing over there because I was just over there. So that's a that, that's a two headed monster. I'm in, in addition to my ability to adjust because I got the guys. I know what they're doing over there because the guy who's the defensive coordinator, I was the defensive coordinator, so I know what they're running, right? So I know the philosophy. He was there's a reason why he was behind me. That's number. That, that's the first thing that I want to talk about. Now, what you just got finished talking about when you said, um, uh, what was what was it about the, the, the second part from if, the college um, players playing the uh, teammates in the NBA? Now, that, familiarity, like I just talked about, when guys playing at home and playing on the road, familiarity in the NBA matters. Yes. So to see a familiar face. 
And to see somebody that I played with in college that I was good with, so Jalen Brunson playing with Josh Hart. Yo, we was on a national championship team yes. together, yes. and we was nice. Mm -hmm. Now, when you get to the pros, don't get me wrong, the game is a little bit different. The atmosphere is a little bit different. We men now, we're not living in dorms anymore. But at the end of the day, we still are ball players, mm -hmm. and we still, we, we still complement each other a lot. Right. There's a reason why in 97, when Chris Webber got with Juwan Howard, they made the playoffs. Mm -hmm. It's the same Washington team that was whack before them two got there. Like when you playing off of, when you playing off of a guy that you're familiar with, that definitely enhances the crew. No doubt about that. It does. Um, uh, let me just I just want to I want to add on. I want to just add on to that because that's amazing. Um, even to the point like this is why Kawhi asked for PG familiarity. You know what I'm saying? There's a there's a certain thing that comes with um, nonverbal communication where I know, you know, same thing like in football and in any team sport, that yep. nonverbal communication is way better than ver verbal communication. I know where you like your screen. I know where you like the ball at. Um, it's very hard to build that camaraderie. And that's why sometimes um, uh, I think we, we shouldn't give LeBron a lot of fact because he has a lot of turnover and he's able to get camaraderie pretty fast compared to yeah. other players. They usually need like a year and change, especially, you know, having D'Lo, all these guys come in and look how they've been, although it's been hit and miss, but he's able to kind of gel in. But back to the point of what you were saying, um, familiarity of the players knowing each other. Um, I think Monk and and Fox, they hold each other accountable. Um, and I think it's it's different when, you know, although Fox and uh, Sabonis are the pair where they, they group everybody together, I think, you know, to a certain extent, because of, you know, cultural differences, they may not speak the same language. You know what I mean? Or I might not have the same temperament to hear it from you. But I got my brother that I had in college. that went through the trenches that we we have a certain rapport. So I could yeah. say certain things like, yo, you're not playing. You're not you're not playing up to par. You know what I'm saying? And some players may not even feel comfortable to do that. So I think him running with his boy, um, I think that plays a, a big help for him. I think I think actually um, Monk going to the Kings helped Fox more than and, Fox and, um, helping out Monk. And, and, and it ain't a coincidence. <laughs> and it ain't a coincidence that Big Ox went Bam up in Sacramento because I'm sorry, who did Bam play with in college as the starting point guard? Who was his starting point guard? De'Aaron. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm sure. I'm sure that would help his game out of, a lot. Of, yeah. And just oh, so no. And no, 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 hold on, chill, hold on, chill. No, 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 no. I got to, because remember last <laughs> time we was on fluid and chill, uh-uh, you said that you would love to have Bam and um, um, Sabonis because of the spacing. Right. Now, now, for what, for what from these sample size that we've been seeing, has Sabonis mm -hmm. been shooting? The, the, what you got to chill? Well, here's the thing. Uh, he uh, has been, actually. Uh-huh. He has been, yes. Uh, because this, great, this, this, Wait, 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 wait. For these two games, has he been shooting them? With, Dray, with Draymond sitting in the paint, he has now knocked down that 15-footer. Yes, he has. And, and yes, Draymond the last out. game. But the first right. game, he did not. He didn't, no, he didn't even he didn't. look at the rim. That's called, that that's doesn't, that doesn't mean that he that's can't an adjustment. shoot. And that's called an adjustment. Plus, yeah. okay. plus to, 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 Breezy's, to, to Breezy's question, Breezy, it's not a coincidence that Jamal Chase – in, in Cincinnati, the reason why Jamal Chase is doing what he's doing is because the dude who's throwing him the football is the same the football in college, Agreed. too. Throwing the football in college, too. So that helps. Well, fellas, that helps. fellas, appreciate y'all for step jumping in. We got to keep it moving. You know, we don't, we don't, we don't got a three hour show, y'all. I wish we had more time. The 50 boys, man. I'm telling you.